Working in Huntington's has been the most important decision I made at a personal level, not just at a professional level. And I will tell you why. Meeting the families, sitting with them, understanding that the work that we're doing is the only hope that they have uh, of their kids or themselves having a better life. It's an incredible change in perspective. Typically, it's the motor component that makes people realize, well, this has to be Huntington's. Once they start having symptoms, typically the disease progresses pretty slowly and until individuals become anywhere between 10 and 15 years completely disabled. Huntington's disease has attained um, a lot of importance in the field because it's a single mutation in a single gene. So in theory, if you can address the cause of the disease, you should be able to benefit everybody. The unfortunate finding is that the gene that causes Huntington's disease has many functions and it affects many different circuits in the brain. And that means that we need therapies that can reach broadly. And initially, there was no uh, industry interest in Huntington's disease. I think the difficulties in developing therapies for HD are not really unique to HD. They share a lot of commonalities with other, maybe more prevalent degenerative indications like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. We needed to define what is it that companies are unlikely to have, but they, they all want, and we're gonna make sure we generate that. Whether it's small molecules, whether it's animal models, whether it's a network of clinical sites, all of these things are individual problems that all need to be solved in order to enable clinical development for Huntington's disease, and that's become the focus of, of CHDI. As a nonprofit organization, we don't have any competitors. We try to enable anybody who's interested in developing a therapy for Huntington's. We decided to create a virtual biotech arm is essentially trying to develop therapies um, by working with multiple organizations with different technical expertise. Some of it is done in companies like Charles River, but everything is coordinated intellectually and practically by CHDI Foundation. And I think that's what's driven a lot of the interest is uh, really in a practical sense by de-risking that decision has enabled companies to say, I'm going to take a bet on this disease. One of the most sort of moving moments in my life happened um, in South America in, in, in 2010, when a person came to me and hold, held my hand and he said, thank you for coming to speak to us. And he started crying and he said, I know it's too late for me, but please, please help my daughter. And that moment to me was, it just crystallized this idea that the work that, that we're doing at CHDR satellite that I'm doing is what I call transgenerational work. That's, that's what keeps me motivated. <laughs>